Alright guys, once again it's time for another review video for FIFA Online 3. So today we'll be uh, reviewing the U10 Karim Benzema. So he'll be the last striker that I'll be doing uh, before I move on to other positions. So let's take a look at his stats first. So as you can see from his stats, actually Benzema is nothing to shout about. He's got uh, pretty average stats for everything, uh, very average speed. So he might have problems uh, getting behind the uh, defenders. Um, finishing is at 105 at full level, so considering the current stats of players, it's not very high. Uh, heading is 101. Uh, long shot volley positioning is 102. is not very high as well. Reactions average. So stats wise, it is actually pretty average in my opinion. Now let's take a look at his uh, characteristics and traits. So if you look at the traits, right? Actually, Benzema has everything. So he's a goal master, he's a finisher, he's a goal striker, wing player. Uh, he's a sky controller. He's a long shot master. And he's a dribble master. So basically, he has um all the important characteristics and traits that you want of a striker. Uh, work rate is not ideal, 2-1, uh, mid-low. Uh, I've said in previous videos that the attacking work rate for a striker should be 3 because you want them to, to run past the defender constantly. But not to worry, uh, Benzema actually has a, a kind of trait that I will elaborate later in the highlights. So in terms of price, uh, Benzema is actually very cheap right now. Uh, it's only at about 5 million, 5.5 million. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, I would recommend that if you want to use Benzema, especially this version of Benzema, you might want to upgrade it. Uh, I'm currently using a plus 3 one, so when uh, with a plus 3 one, he actually has a more more decent kind of stats. You know, Spring 102, Acceleration 105. Yeah, so it's up to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be more systematic from this point on. I'm going to focus on the strength first, then the weakness. So the strength of Benzema basically is uh, he's a, a very clinical center front, uh, sorry, a striker. So give him a chance, most likely he'll finish it. Although he's a finishing, he's 105, but he's a very, very clinical striker. Uh, he's also plays like a traditional, <coughs> sorry, a traditional kind of uh, center forward. Like um, basically he'll hang around the final third uh, on the shoulders of the last defender and then uh, try and break the offside trap kind of thing. So he is something like a fox in a box kind of striker who waits for uh, supply from the midfield or from the wingers and then uh, finish them off. So that is um, a strength I guess. Plays like a traditional kind of, uh, I would say he plays like a uh, Van Nistelrooy in real life kind of thing. Like he waits for the Napole uh, na a chance and then uh, finish it off. So uh, another good thing about Benzema is his uh, aerial threat ability. So throughout my gameplay with him, I realized that he wins quite a number of headers. So if you are the type that actually goes to the wings and put the ball into the box, uh, you might want to try aiming for Benzema because he is really very good in the air. Uh, despite his height, you know, he's just 182, but he wins a lot of headers. Something like Ramos, right? They are short, but you get to win headers. So let's go on to his weakness now. So the most obvious weakness for uh, Benzema is that uh, once you use him in your team, you will realize that uh, there is a loss of mobility in the team, especially in the attacking third. So because he doesn't really move away from the center position, he kind of wait for the chance to come. Then you might find that there is not a lot of movement at the front might have problems breaking down you know, tight defenses with 5 defenders, 6 defenders, sweepers those, um, those kind of formations you really need a lot of uh, movement from your forward but Benzema doesn't really offer it he um, prefers to stay in the center as compared to running around and look for chance like a Ronaldo or a Messi so people, uh, guys you might want to take note of it uh, if you are good at creating chances for your striker, then I would say Benzema is really good for you. Uh, if you are not, if you need your strikers to be able to fashion their own chances, then uh, you might want to consider others. Uh, in terms of uh, dribbling, you might have a little bit of problem as well. I feel that although his agility is not bad, um, he kind of feels a bit stiff. So that might affect his ability to dribble as well. 
Okay now, so let's take a look at the predatory instincts of uh, Benzema. We're going to a detailed analysis. So you see that once he lose the ball, uh, he wants to try and retrieve it, but uh, once he sees the winger accept, uh, retrieving the ball, he retracts back, and then he makes a run into the box. So he has a marker, the marker is uh, marking him. So what he does is he tries to check back his run in order to prevent himself from getting offside. So this is also a mark of a good striker. So now he's actually behind. Did you see the, the way he moved from the front of the defender here? And then slowly he moves towards the uh, back of the defender because the defender only has eyes for the ball. So when he do this, he's actually on the blind side of the defender. So what happens is once uh, Robin gets the ball, Benzema is on the blind side of the defender. The defender is absolutely gone. So when Robin gets the ball, the defender is attracted by the Robin's run to try and uh, stop his shot. So forgot about Benzema, and this is the part where where Benzema really shines, where he like a traditional center front or a center forward hangs on the shoulders of the last defender and try and do this sort of things so now he is open in the penalty box already as you can see and Robin spots uh, him makes a little nice true pass and Benzema has all the space in the world to finish the shot yeah and this is actually uh, one one of the ways that uh, Benzema really shine if you can do this kind of thing uh, on a regular basis he will be able to get you a lot of goals but you must be able to provide him with all these services